Hi. How is everyone? I get to come to you live again this week, which is so exciting. I had my fertility hot seat on Monday, and now I'm going to do a live Q&A with all of you, specifically around my fertility reboot and how my fertility reboot can support you or not. It's not for every single person on the journey. So first, before we get into questions, so here's how this is going to work, guys. It's a live Q&A. Um, ideally, you're asking me questions about how the Fertility Reboot can support you and your case. So that could be, you know, asked in many different ways. Um, but either way, I'm going to tie it back to how I can support you with the Fertility Reboot with your questions. So you have to ask your questions in the question box. Hi, Andy. Hi, everyone. Um, I am coming to you from my kitchen because uh, my husband is, is out and about all day today traveling and we have a new puppy and so I'm staying downstairs doing most of my work today so that I can just keep an eye on the pupster. He's in his little pen, kind of a big pen, but anyway, you're going to hear him in the background and then this is also my new kitchen which looks amazing. Um, and how are you guys? Where are you guys tuning in from? Um, have you signed up for the Fertility Reboot? Are you freaking psyched to kick off, off on June 1st? So I want to, okay, so quick back uh, track for one second. This is a live Q&A. I want you to ask questions about how your case could be helped by the Fertility Reboot or tell me about your case and I'll tell you how the Reboot might support you. Um, I am going to pick one person at random to get free entry to the reboot. It's gonna help if you ask questions, so then you're in my vortex. So please ask questions. And um, and if you've signed up, graciously let me know. I've already signed up. Um, what else? First, I'm gonna tell you all about the fertility reboot. You know, if you're following me, you've seen uh, lots of questions on stories, but people are still like, what is the reboot? How do I sign up? So I'm going to pin, um, but I know no one's going to sign up while we're live, right? Because someone's going to wait to win for free. Um, and some of you guys, if you are in my Yes, You Can Get Pregnant e-course, you have a $100 off promo code. So look for that in your email. If you are in my Functional Fertility Group Coaching Program, you get free access. So please look for that email. You guys have been emailed with promo codes. So look for those or email my team, info at amyrop.com for your specific promo code that you're an FFP student or that you're an e-course student, okay? And for anybody who is brand new to me and brand new to the Fertility Reboot, I'm going to give you a breakdown of what the program is. I'm just going to pull up the program page. It's amyraup.com slash Fertility Reboot, so you can read all about it here. Um, amyraup.com. I just shared the link on Instagram before and left a P out of my name. Is that hysterical? So the link didn't work. Um, this looks right. And then I will pin this comment so you guys can see it. So if you guys want to go to the page and just look and see what the program is about. So it's a 30 day program based really on my most recent book, The Egg Quality Diet. But we ran this program before I had The Egg Quality Diet. This just really helps um, support you in the program. So this is mandatory to be in the program. You also need a copy of your book um, because we use the resources page that goes with this book all the time. And then we also um, refer to it a lot. And so you're gonna wanna just have the book. It's just easy, it's, it's $17 um, hard copy. You can also get it in Kindle um, for I think $9.99. So the Fertility Reboot, what is it? It is a 30-day, so if I'm looking down, it's because I'm reading on my laptop. Um, it is a 30-day mind-body, body-mind fertility transformation. So um, I started this back when I wrote my book, Body Belief, and all about the, the conversation is that your body hears everything your brain says. And so, and with that, in, in the book, Body Belief, and in, in the egg quality diet as well, it's really geared at calming inflammation in your body. So inflammation on a physical level from nutrition and inflammation on an emotional level from our belief systems. And so this program is the best of both. So we're going to do the first 30 days of the egg quality diet. We're literally going to follow the first 30 days here. So for some of you, you're like, but I've already done the egg quality diet or I have the book. Why do I need this? 
if you're a self-starter, you really don't. If you want to just go and follow the egg quality diet on your own and do it yourself, by all means. Um, a lot of people feel overwhelmed by this because it ain't easy. I know it. I wrote it. Uh, I've lived it myself many times. It's not easy. Elimination diets are not easy. What makes it easier is when you do a program like this because you're doing it with a group and you're doing it with my leadership and also my team's leadership. Um, you're getting in this 30 day program, you get weekly live group coaching calls from me. You get daily emails where we're talking about food and feelings. Um, you have a secret community in Mighty Networks. And then you're also, which is brand new to the program this time running it, you're getting weekly live Q and A's on nutrition from one of my fertility coaches in my on my team. So tremendous amount of support. You also get weekly video lessons. You'll also get meditations. Um, so it's really geared towards anybody who's going back and forth about the diet, but then also like, are you sabotaging? Are you getting in your own way? Or do you feel overwhelmed and you just kind of need like the accountability and then also would like some support and to feel less alone in this process. So again, I know everybody's joining in, reminding you guys, this is, I'm, I'm going over what my Fertility Reboot program is. Enrollment closes tomorrow. This is a live Q&A based on, you can ask me any questions you want about your fertility. And I'm gonna let you know, you know, I'll answer the question of course, but I'm also gonna let you know how the reboot could support you. So please ask your questions in the question box that little circle with the question mark inside, and I will go through in about two more minutes and answer those questions. Uh, right now, I'm just kind of giving you the down low on what the Fertility Reboot is. So um, one of the things that I think about a lot is that there's so much overwhelming information out there, like should you be keto? Should you do AIP? Should you be paleo? Do you need to cut out gluten, dairy, soy, um, beans, no beans, uh, low carb, high carb, like, all fat, no fat, like, uh, what the fuck am I supposed to eat for my fertility? I have no fucking idea. I'm so overwhelmed and every expert has a slightly different opinion. Why I wrote the Equality Diet is because I was using this in practice for a decade and then I decided I should, I had a PDF that I was sharing with all my patients. I'm like, I might as well just make it a book. Um, it's an elimination diet so that you can find the right fertility diet for you. Because your body is different than my body, is different than her body, is different than his body, is different than their body, right? All our bodies are different. So I can't, I can blatantly say sometimes, gluten, dairy, soy, corn, highly inflammatory foods. Pesticide ridden food, probably not the best. Genetically modified food, probably not the best. So we can all agree on that. We all agree on that. But then what's the percentages? What's the macros? I also did the research. Um, there seems to be a very specific macronutrient ratio for women trying to conceive. And it is about 40-ish percent fat, 25-ish percent protein, and then what late, what left 25%-ish uh, carbs. Some women, however, need like 30-ish percent protein. I do better with a little more protein um, and a little less carbs, but I never really, none of my clients do I really go below uh, probably 20% carbs? Keto, true keto is 5% carbohydrates. I find that to really tank hormones after a few weeks intermittent fasting, same thing, no bueno. But you don't really know until you try, right? And so doing an elimination diet though is hard. And that's why I created the reboot, to really help you clarify this. And then to add in the layer of emotional supports because food triggers us all. Anytime I do a food post, I get so much effing hate. It's not even funny because people get so pissed off that I said no to this or no to that. I'm not trying to trigger anybody. Food just triggers us. Food is a big trigger for so many people. And a lot of us also, I'm a recovering, you know, eating disorder person. I mean, it's 20 years now since I've had that eating disorder, but I get it. But a lot of us get triggered by food. We get really triggered when we're told what we can't have, what we need to eat, right? It's like we almost rebel, we almost sabotage. And so to me, that's the beauty of this program is I'm, I am guiding you on a way of eating that's gonna support you in figuring out what works best for your body. And at the same time, I'm offering the emotional support so that maybe that saboteur stays away, right? 
So if you feel like there's an inflammatory condition, if you have a known autoimmune condition, if you've had years of trying and unexplained infertility as a diagnosis, if you've had multiple losses, if you know you have gut dysbiosis, chronic yeast infections, bacterial vaginosis, um, bad stomach, like sensitive stomach, IBS-like stuff, this is so for you. If you have skin stuff, eczema, psoriasis, rosacea, and you're also not getting pregnant, this is the program for you. Um, and then also if you really feel like your stress and emotions get in the way, like every Monday you start off with a really good plan for the week and by Wednesday you have a case of the fuck it and you just, you know, your, your diet goes sideways. Um, you know, and also a big, a big part of what I preach, even though this is a strict elimination diet is perfection doesn't equal pregnancy. I don't need you to do this perfectly to achieve the result. You might get there faster if you stick to the plan a little more, you know, uh, closely, but you will still see results even if you do the plan 80%, 90%. You're still going to see dramatic shifts in your body, in your inflammation, in your hormones, in your receptivity, in your microbiome. You're going to see the shifts, okay? So if you want to hit the reset button on your fertility, if you want to learn to love your body more, make better lifestyle choices to support your health and your fertility, you want to gain a clear understanding of how to nourish your body with the best foods, and then we're going to give you an easy to follow 30 day mind body reset plan. Think meal plans, shopping lists, recipes, meditation, hands on coaching, inspiration, accountability. So much comes with this program. It's 150 bucks. I think that's really inexpensive for a 30 day high touch program. Um, and like I said, it, during today's live, I'm going to give one reboot away for free. So if you want to get on my radar for that freebie, ask a question in the question box. Um, it's going to help improve egg quality, balance hormones, it's going to help you look in the mirror and not just like who you see, but what you see. Um, I want to work on the shame piece. That's what I spend a lot of time on really shifting the story we tell about ourselves, shifting the belief systems, questioning the belief systems. Um, and then we're really working on reducing inflammation on all the levels, emotional and physical. Um, and so again, what you're going to get with this program, weekly video lessons from me, um, weekly guided fertility focused meditations, daily emails with both food and feeling, uh, pointers and homework, um, weekly menus and meal plans, um, recipes, shopping lists. I mean, a lot of it's in the book. A lot of it, we're going to be like, okay, the recipe's on page 101 or whatever it is. Um, you're also going to get access through the four week program to the secret fertility reboot course community on mighty networks. Will you receive a support? Oh, will you will receive support from me, my staff, uh, and a compassionate community of women just like you, um, four live group coaching sessions with me and my group coaching sessions are very focused on the feelings part. Cause that's an area of expertise for me. It's something I'm really passionate about. I really tie it in. Um, to the whole picture. I see, I have an interview coming up later today and she was like, what's the one thing that you think women trying to conceive are going to need to do? And it's nourishment is the word I'm going to use. And you probably are all like, ah, nourishment, but nourishment means to slow down. Nourishment means to take time. Nourishment means to feed ourselves. Nourishment means to feed our soul. Right. And I really love that gym. And then that's where I see the biggest changes happen. And also it becomes easier to do the diet when we're in it for nourishment, not for, um, you know, changing AMH or FSH, uh, or even the positive pregnancy test. Um, then we'll get weekly live Q and A's, um, on all food nutritional related questions. Um, hosted by one of my team Amy coaches. Right now, I think it's going to be Carrie for almost everyone, but we'll see. Uh, so we're going to go through a lot. Fertility beliefs, crucial steps, busting through emotional blocks, what foods to avoid, how to, you know, blah, 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 blah. There's so much. You guys can go to Reboot, Fertility Reboot, uh, amyraup.com slash Fertility Reboot and see all of it. And again, enrollment's going to close tomorrow. And when we break a certain amount, we actually have to close enrollment sooner because, and we're almost there, guys. So just so you know, I would really, if you want to sign up, like try to do it today. Um, tomorrow, we'll probably still have the card open, but at some point tomorrow, it might close because we're going to hit our max of what we can handle and still provide um, quality care. Um, and it's 150 bucks. And I'm going to go into questions now. 
Um, love the baby whining in the background. He is so cute. He is so cute. Thank you. Um, if I wasn't pressed for time, I'd go show you because I'm a, I'm a puppy mama and I love him. Um, even though I'm puffy and I'm a little snotty, but that's okay. I'll get through it. Uh, oh God, what happened? Um, how will it help me after two losses? Um, I think on the emotional level, it's a lot of support there. And then I think on the physical level of healing inflammation, which is probably at the root of the losses. And so working on like the one thing that like you guys might not know because you're not, you don't have a job like I have is all of the current research in the world of fertility is completely focused on the microbiome. A hundred percent. Everybody is seeing the connection between the gut microbiome and the uterine microbiome and not just losses, but the ability to get and stay pregnant. And guess what this diet does? It heals the gut. It heals the microbiome. That's the fucking clincher. So that's how it's going to help, Michelle. Um, I just discovered your program, but I'm currently doing third round of IUI. Uh, and I do have endometriosis. What's the best way to eat now? It's a little late for elimination, right? I've been eating healthy and doing, I don't know what ACC for past three months is. What's the best thing to do now? I, I never think it's too late. I still think moving the needle a small amount in the right direction is going to help you continue to move the needle. Because what if, you know, I want this IOI to work for you. What if it doesn't? Then we're in another cycle and yet you've delayed it again. So I would jump in and follow the egg quality diet. This is still where I would tell you to go. It's really geared towards inflammation and autoimmunity, which I find as a clinician of 20 years is at the root of most fertility challenges, which also has a lot to do with the gut, right? Um, and I was onto this, you know, 15 years ago. Um, it's not it's not my first time at the rodeo, people. Um, I'm not one of those those bandwagon um, microbiome gut health people. I've been talking about bone broth and uh, elimination diets for literally 15 years um, and organ meats and all the things. And so Chinese medicine, we're very rooted in that. So I'm not going to take all the credit at Chinese medicine. But I'd still, I'd still, this is what I would tell you to eat right here, right here, right here. Um, so, and even still, like there's a lot of questions and maybe I'm going to blanketly answer this question now. There's a lot of people that are saying, I'm in the middle of this cycle or I'm about to do this cycle or I'm about to do a transfer. Listen, even the smallest amount of changes is going to move the ball in the right direction and you're going to start moving the ball in the right direction. Some women need a month of changes. Some women need 11 months of changes. Some women need 21 months of changes. You, we just never really know. I always see fertility as a spectrum and we're just slowly shifting. Reducing inflammation helps with implantation. We know that for a fact scientifically. Reducing inflammation also improves egg quality. Some women need a little bit of inflammation reduced. Some women need a lot. If you have endometriosis, you have inflammation and this diet will help you. Um, uh, okay. I've learned so much from you through these lives. You are the reason I've changed my diet. Doing fifth IVF in two years. Um, well, thank you, Pink Flamingo. Um, I have done your diet before and now I stick with it 80% have toenail fungus gain 15 out of no, I don't know, um, before and now I stick with it 80% of the time have toenail fungus gain 15 pounds. So it sounds like some kind of fungal or yeasty thing. So if you're on the diet, I would say first thing I would say is avoid the ferments. We do have, um, protocols in here for both SIBO and histamine issues. Um, and I kind of put like yeasty in there too with the histamine, but I would almost go low histamine and watch any of the yeasty foods. So any of the ferments and see if that helps Petunia eats cake. Um, uh, okay. Let me see. Trying naturally for a while, full transparency. I love soda, fast food, pizza, barely work out, stressful job, average six hours of sleep. I need a major shift, but worried it might be too late at this point. It's not too late at 42. Not at all. Um, and I think, uh, if you're up for it, you should try it. Have you had any clients with success at their own eggs at 49? I've had 48. And then the, the fertility doctor that I work the most closely with Dr. Murphy and rejuvenating fertility center, he's had women upwards of 51 using their own eggs. Um, um, so what type of diet? So this would be what I would do. It would be this. 
36 DOR low AMH. This is where you start. This is where you start. It's an elimination diet, so you can find the right fertility diet for you. You have to reduce inflammation. Um, that age and DOR, it's definitely an inflammatory response. Something is attacking your ovaries and they're not working properly. You either have endometriosis or some kind of immune related situation. I know I'm blanketly saying that I shouldn't diagnose you without knowing your case, but I see this all the time. And there's typically an immune and inflammatory reaction going on in the body. So you want to do something like this. The AIP diet is the closest to this. This has some tweaks for macronutrients for fertility and some Chinese medicine tweaks, but this is really where it's at, in my humble opinion. Um, I do coconut yogurt with cinnamon for breakfast. Should I always add collagen peptides? I would because coconut yogurt does not have enough protein. And I would kind of have like something additional, a little juicier on the side. Um, or someone asked a question this morning for my reel, which I, I think is a really good point because she was like, that's a big breakfast. I'm not that hungry for all that, like first thing in the morning. And I was like, you know, and the truth is I'm not always either. So I kind of make a big breakfast that has like 30. My goal is always 30 grams of protein before like 10 AM. That's like my goal. So, and I think that's a really good goal for you guys. So the coconut yogurt with collagen peptides is going to give you 10 grams of protein. So where are you going to get those other 20? And I want you to think about that. And that the first three hours of being awake, I really want 30 grams of protein in there. Um, okay, I'm 44, FSH 75, estrogen 366. Um, after miscarriage period not coming. Um, I would start with the reboot. The reboot is a lot of times the introduction to me and my work because it's such a low price point and you get a lot of me and my team in those 30 days. And so there's also an offer on the reboot checkout page that you can add a coaching session with one of our coaches um, and one 60 minute session could really streamline. But when your estrogen's that high, um, oh, it's E366. Is that what it is? It's not. Or is it estrogen is 366? I might be misreading this. Um, I might be misreading this. If your estrogen's that high, there's something else going on. There's a cyst, and that's why you're not ovulating. I mean, that's why your period hasn't come. If your estrogen is not 366 and it's 66 and FSH is high, then you're kind of in a dormant phase. I would then assume there's retained tissue, um, and you need to go back in and make sure that the uterus has been cleared of the miscarriage products. So technical of me to say, but that's what we use. Um, uh, am I a mom? Did I have fertility issues? Did this work for you? So I am a mom. I had my son, um, at, I got pregnant at 40 and had him right before my 41st birthday. And I did not experience fertility challenges with getting pregnant with him. I was following everything I had said. I had written, yes, you can get pregnant already at that point. And um, basically from like the age of 35, I was like preparing my fertility. I just hadn't met the right guy. And so I, you know, when I met my husband, I was 39 and we decided to start trying. I got pregnant the second month we tried and I carried a healthy baby to term. And then at 40, Four, I got pregnant again and I had a miscarriage and it was due to um, Turner's syndrome. And then that kind of threw me into this loop of trying, not trying, wanting, not wanting. Um, and we're, we're kind of in this place now of like, if a miracle happens, that would be fun. Um, but I've chosen not to pursue any additional treatments just because it's not what's in line for my marriage. Um, and so there you have it. So I wouldn't put myself in a category of having fertility challenges, but I have had a miscarriage and I know the shittiness of that. And I did have a baby in my forties. Um, so there's my answer there. Thank you for asking Adriana. Um, and okay. So I have five more minutes left. I'm going to really answer reboot specific questions at this point. Um, So I do know the book Beyond the Pill. Is that Jolene's book, Dr. Brighton? I don't think most elimination diets aren't as, um, they don't, what's the word? They don't eliminate as many things as they should, like especially nuts and beans and seeds and nightshades. So if it doesn't eliminate nuts, beans, seeds, and nightshades, then it's not the same. 
if it's just like gluten dairy soy um uh okay are you hopeful about the new science with prp i am and i'm also very hopeful about the new science with stem cell um okay so let me just see Okay, here's a good question. If I'm having Hashimoto's, is this the best diet for me? It is, because AIP is the best diet for anybody with an autoimmune condition. Um, or is it better to follow autoimmune? So this basically is autoimmune paleo with, like I said, a twist of um, Chinese medicine and macronutrient balance for fertility. Um, yeah, if you're sure it's inflammation and gut problems and you haven't done a full elimination diet, like as laid out here, then this is what I would do. Um, okay, let me just see. Is this course um, for outside the US? I live in Iceland. Yes, it's for people anywhere in the world. Everything is recorded as well, so even if the time zone is impacting you, you would still get to watch the recordings. And we always post in the thread the questions. So my group coaching and my team's coaching on nutrition is going to be in a live version, but we're making people post questions beforehand. So even if you can't be on live, your question will be in that thread and it will get answered. Um, I'm not answering questions in the actual post. You have to put it in the question box. Um, and I already answered your question on the mushroom coffee alternative in my stories yesterday, just so you know. So go back there. Um, Okay, I'm on the egg quality diet, now pregnant, congratulations. What should I change? The biggest thing I change on the egg quality diet is, is a lot of times if you've had troubles conceiving or you've had previous losses and then you get pregnant on the egg quality diet, I do not want you reintroducing too many new things um, because chances are whatever you took out was causing inflammation in your body and this is now your body's more receptive and you are pregnant I don't wanna cause a loss. Um, but I would say to increase your carbohydrate load more to the 25, 30% range. And so typically patients do that with rice. Um, okay. Um, how big is the reboot community? Um, we've had upwards of like 160 people in the community. Um, how about inflammatory bowel disease um, and taking suppressants, zero implantation? Yeah, so you want to look at... Um, there's probably something else going on and it could be too that we really need to heal the nutrient absorption and that's why things aren't aren't happening um it could also be though that your dual microbiome is off i would get an endometri endometritis test um how many so i mean how many days do you need to follow your diet to see results how many months before egg retrieval the science tells us that 100 days is, is the key to um, changing egg quality, cellular health, mitochondrial function. So that's why it's a 100 day diet. We're gonna do 30 days and then the idea is that you're gonna continue on for the next 70 with the, you know, I'm getting you through the hardest part basically and then you're gonna run through it the next, the next 70 on your own. Um, okay, I have one more minute. Um, Um, okay, so I read the first part too of like miscarriage and now not ovulating. Um, um, so the other thing I would say too in a case like this is make sure that your, your uterus has been looked at. Make sure there's been a hysteroscopy because it could be the smallest amount of retained tissue from a miscarriage or scar tissue and it could prevent your, it could cause a dysfunctional cycle and lack of ovulation. There could also be cysts. Like really make sure you rule out the structural things. It's so important that checking the uterine environment, checking the ovarian environment, is so critically important and so often overlooked. I just had a girl in my private community, you know, it's been three years on the journey and finally someone found endometriosis and finally was like, here's an answer, maybe, you know? So, um, but I'm about to do a medicated cycle. I'm not ovulating properly, would this help? Yes, it would help. Um, it would. And why? Because it's going to reduce inflammation. It's going to improve nutrient absorption. It's going to heal your heart and your soul, at least start the healing process there. I can't make promises. And it's going to um, make you more receptive when we reduce inflammation and heal on that level. Your body becomes more receptive. Um, I just signed up for the course. Look at you. I think I'm in perimenopause. I'm 43. Able to get pregnant before, but not successful. Will it help me? Um, I have a lot of women in this exact category. This is like seems to be the bulk of what our office sees. Um, 
is this kind of early 40s. <clears throat> and it's amazing, the transformations. It's amazing that you can restore the cycle even in your 40s. Um, and even in like mid to later 40s, there's a lot you can do to restore your cycle. And the data out there is... Um, is piling up that I think the argument is less about egg quality, even though most of the doctors still talk that way, like age and egg quality, and more about cellular health and mitochondrial function. Um, can I quickly recap the course? I did it at the beginning, so I have to go now, so you can watch the beginning, like the first five minutes, or just go to amyraup.com slash fertility reboot, and you will get all the information. I pinned the website, it's right up top, um, and I just wanna quickly give it away to someone, okay, um, Caitlin 1081, I'm gonna give you a free reboot because after a miscarriage last year and now I get hives regularly, would the reboot help get rid of itchy skin? Hell yeah. So Caitlin, I want you to be my reboot student that you're gonna get free access to the reboot. What you have to do, because I can't DM you, you have to DM me on the back end of Instagram, send me a DM. Hey, I'm Caitlin1081, you said free reboot and I'm gonna give you a promo code, okay? Yay, thank you guys so much. Um, so if you have any additional questions about the reboot, I'm gonna put another question box up in my stories. There still is one up, but I think it's gonna disappear soon and I'll answer questions there. The enrollment closes tomorrow night, 11.59 p.m. Eastern time. It may close earlier. If we get too many students, like upwards of the 200s, we're gonna, we're gonna have to close it and we're, you know, we're getting close. Um, because, anyway, because I wanna be able to support you best. Um, and that's it. And I don't know that I'm gonna run it again this year. So if you want this opportunity, go take the leap. amyrop.com slash fertility reboot. It's 150 bucks. 30 day program. You'll also need the book. So total investment 160 to one, um, 167, depending on which copy of the book you buy. Ciao.